is dead because he was dead. Not three weeks ago, I go in the, out of the closet that buy some dance pants and I'm being accosted, laughed at, called names in the, out of the closet for not being in the closet. My entire life, up to that point, not wearing skirts. I tried some on, always carefully, and in much secret, too much secret, sneaking in and out of my mother's closet. Closets never belong to us, hmm. but they're there Come on. to protect some other human being. Mm -hmm. You have to understand, when I found out that I had the AIDS, after having buried so many, too many, and some again in secret, I realized my ability to be regretful was race and time. I can make a vagina. <laughs> See, my mom gets mad. She used to think it was funny, but now she says, boys don't do that. But it's perfect. <laughs> One day, when I went to the girl next door's house and asked to play, she said she couldn't play with me anymore because I was a boy. Well, I don't want to be a boy if I can't play with girls. I ran home to tell my mom what had happened. <laughs> And she said, I can't play with dolls anymore and asked me if I wanted people to think that I am a faggot. The next day, I'm crossing the street with my father. The big red hand means you have to wait. I asked him if he knows what a faggot is. He says it's when two men hold hands. The light turns green, and my dad grabs me by the hand and we begin to walk. <laughs> I ask him if we are faggots. <laughs> He doesn't answer. <laughs> you don't know me, but you about to know me. My name is Carlos, Carlia, or motherfucking Coco. And I've been fucking with niggas who don't match with niggas for a minute. It all started when I was a little gay <laughs> or a little queer. I was little though. Straight men have a nasty habit of <laughs> overestimating how attractive they are. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right, ladies? themselves a nasty habit. Don't sit here and put a comment on my page about how you like this or a comment like, wow, I really agree with you. Why don't you take that time that you were going to spend on me telling me how great I am while patting yourself on the back? <laughs> I'm not trying to be heavy, but you know, I'm sorry. Every every rose has a right to its place. Okay. I'm not trying to be heavy, but why don't you go comment on somebody's page you know is homophobic? Why don't you go comment on somebody's page who you know ha has, has politics or ideas that aren't right? Don't tell me because I know I'm right. I don't need to hear that you like this. I need you to do something about it. Don't tell me anything. The, the biggest compliment I can see is no comments on my page and comments on somebody else's. Tell me that you like this or this is good. Do something about it. Figure it out.